Hello everyone, we are fashion design students of La Salle College, Jakarta. Today, Rosita and Sylvia will be presenting topic of regenerated manufactured fibers. First, we are going to discuss about rayon. I'll tell you a little bit of rayon history. In the era kings and queens, since ancient times, textile has been ruled by silk. However, being in demand does not mean easily available, and yes, it is expensive. In the end of 19th century, that silk availability was a concern due to extremely high cost. As a result, many chemists began finding an alternative to it. Around 1889, a French industrialist named Hilaire de Cardanet introduced the Cardanet silk, which was the first ever man rayon manufacturer at industrial scale. Since then, many varieties have got introduced that have the appearance of silk, but actually, rayon. The common silk material is cellulose. Yes, usually wooden pulp as a source of cellulose. Wood pulp is converted using wet spinning method, a soluble compound that is further pressed with a force through spinneret. Thin fibers will be formed. This further treated with chemicals and at the end, it is rayon. This is why rayon is not considered to be entirely synthetic. Even, the, even though the basic material is natural, Rayon is partly natural and partly synthetic. Can not you tell me where exactly, exactly we use it? The major use of rayon is making clothes. clothes. It can be blended with many dyes to get fibrin shade, which why it is widely used in the textile industry. Not only clothing, but also can be used in making bed sheets when mixed with natural fibers like cotton. We can mix rayon with other natural fiber too. Let's take example, rayon blended with wool to help us get softly, shiny fibers that can be used to make carpets. So, do we find rayon is comfortable? Of course, rayon is a great property. It's a soft fabric that is comfortable to wear, even softer than cotton. Absorbent, but becomes weaker when wet. The, the other bad thing is, it's also low thermal retention. So, I think it's not suitable for people living in the cold weather. Now, we will be talking about lyocell. What is that? We will find similarities with rayon, but those still have differences. Lyocell is a fabric made also from wood pulp. For the most part, this is eucalyptus. What makes the difference with rayon? It is just different in the manufacturing process. Lyocell is made by using solution called NMMO to break down the fibers. Technically, Lyocell is a subcategory of rayon, a subcategory created by researchers who wanted a more environmentally way, friendly way of creating rayon. Pat White and the British company created a method of ma manufacturing lyocell fiber in 1982. In that year, they were, they were able to create up to 100 kilos per week. This rose to 1 ton per week in 1984. One of the major claims to fame of lyocell is the ability to absorb excess liquid, regulate body temperature, and maintain water balance. So the people with bad body odor and sensitive skin, lyocell is the best choice. Nanofibrils are the key to the performance of lyocell. The nanofibrils are hydrophilic. Lyocell controls and regularly absorbs moisture 50% more than cotton and even more than wool. What are the benefits? Lyocell prevents the growth of bacteria naturally without the addition of chemical treatment, which may cause allergic reaction. So, are you brave enough to tell your friends who have had bad body odors to take lyocell fiber as their choice of clothes? As a fabric, lyocell combines some of the most favorable properties designers look for. There is probably a better example of this than the fact that it is used to substitute for cotton or silk, in particular to make dresses, shirts, towels, and underwear. Now, we are moving on to a state. Although it's also made from wood pulp, like Ryan and Lyocell, a state fabric is considered a semi-synthetic. The main advantage of semi-synthetic estate fiber compared to natural fibers, it is very low cost. Cellulose acid is the estate ester of cellulose. It was first discovered in 1865 by French chemist Paul Scott Zenberger. 
as that fabric was first introduced in 1924 in the United States and later commercially produced, one chemist found a solution to easily dye the fabric with durable colors. Acetate flakes are formed by the combination of acetic acid with cellulose from wood. Acetate fiber is the second oldest man-made fiber in the United States and was used as a coating for airplanes. But semi-synthetic fabrics made of acetate fibers are the most environmentally friendly. Their manufacturing has a disastrous environmental impact. Acetate fabrics are regularly used in fashion to produce clothing and accessories because they are smooth, thin, and affordable. They resemble luxurious silk. In the textile apparel industry, acetate fabric is often used to make knitwear, evening dresses, wedding attires, blouses, sweaters, undergarments. It is widely used in satins, burkhats, and taffetas. Cellulose acetate is widely produced to make cigarette filter tow, used in the majority of cigarette filters worldwide. It helps remove tar and nicotine while keeping a convenient taste. How does it produce? Acetate is manufactured by the constructing wood pulp into a purified fluffy white cellulose using acetic acid, acetic anhydride, sulfuric acid, and acetone. Why is it dangerous to environment? Because a lot of chemicals and waters are needed to condition wood pulp, treat cellulose fibers, dissolve cellulose, purify, and wash it. How about acetate physical appearance? Acetate has high class good drip and a smooth texture but a state cannot be heated lose some strength when wet and wrinkle easily what can we take for the conclusion regenerated manufactured fibers are ryan leocell and estate with common spinning method regenerated manufactured fibers is made to m similarity of expensive natural fibers using natural and chemical as material even though there are some issue to the environment but less expensive fibers are on demand through the outdoors.